Good morning, Private Court School. What are you going to do today? Learn, enjoy, succeed. Welcome to Assembly. It's Monday the 4th of May. This is our fifth week of home learning in lockdown. We are expecting the government to make an announcement later this week and what they have said is that they will start to share with us some plans of how they might be lifting lockdown. So we find out about that at exactly the same time that you do but I'm excited because I'm hoping that even if we have to wait a little while we might get a bit of a clue about when would we, we would be able to go back to school because that would be really good wouldn't it but until we hear that it definitely isn't going to be this week or next week in probably in fact it's probably not going to be until after half term so we will crack on with our home learning for now and I have got a very important and exciting thing to announce in assembly today I would like to say a big hello and a very warm welcome to all of the children who are going to be joining us in school in September they are are going to be ash class so hi and welcome to everybody who's going to be in ash class their parents are going to get sent a link to this video so that they can watch it so we're really really pleased to have you with us we do an assembly like this every day while you're at home and then when you come to school with us you'll have an assembly at school every day to come to as well but it's really good that we're not at school at the moment because it means that you can watch all of these videos and join in with all the brilliant things that are happening so you'll be able to see everybody who comes to our school all of the teachers so my name is Mrs Donnelly and I'm the head teacher and I do assembly sometimes in the week and sometimes in the week you'll see Mrs Robertson and she does assembly on different days and then you can watch our story time videos and our fun Friday videos and you'll see all sorts of other members of our uh, teaching team as well and get to know them really well before you start so hi it's really 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 nice to see you we're really excited that you're joining our school and hopefully soon we'll be able to meet you in person. Okay, brilliant. Thank you very much to Ash Class and welcome. Right, I just want to give you a couple of shout outs about story time because there are some great things going on that I want you to make sure that you don't miss out on, okay? So first of all, Miss McFetridge is going to start a story today. She's going to read it in a couple of parts. There are loads of really great stories going on. This one is called How Not to Go to School. I've seen quite a few videos about lockdown and about coronavirus and I really like this one that Miss McFetridge found. I think it is definitely the best. So she's going to read it to you. So you might want to have a look out for that on our YouTube playlist. We obviously have a picture book every single day. Miss Crouch is reading today's picture book and she's chosen Rumpelstiltskin. Great story, so you might want to have a little look at that. Miss Cooper is doing an amazing job of reading Harry Potter and we're nearing the end of Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone, which is one of my favourites. So you might want to tune into that. And if you haven't had a chance to listen yet, don't worry, they're still on all our playlist. You can go back to the beginning and have a listen to them from there if you would like to. And if you head over to our cookery channel which we also have on the go now not only has mrs jenkins done loads of brilliant videos for you but miss cooper has done one as well and she's themed it with her harry potter reading and she's done a video about making hagrid's rock cakes so enjoy that I also just wanted to let you know that later on in the week, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday this week, all of our assemblies are going to be getting ready for celebrating VE Day, which happens on Friday, when actually we get a bank holiday and a day off school. So we've only got four days of home learning this week instead of five. And so we've got lots of assemblies coming up about it, but we've also found a really lovely book to read that links with it. And that one will start tomorrow after your first VE day assembly and it's called the amazing story of Adolphus tips and there's going to be a different section read by a different member of staff every day so you might enjoy that okay let's have a look at the newsletter from uh, Mrs Robertson I've learned how to mash my videos together or edit them should I say so that first bit I can do on the telly and what's show you there and then the next bit I can do like this because you don't want to be looking at my face do you? you want to see all the wonderful things that happened in the newsletter and all the celebrations of the fantastic things that you've been doing at home so here we go house 
points and housework points were announced in assembly on Friday. Those totals are racking up. Well done to everybody who is doing a really good job of helping with the housework at home, but also all those learning points coming on over here. We've got some big celebrations to look forward to, haven't we? An ice cream party for the winning house for our house points and a celebration breakfast for the winning house for our housework points. So two things up for grabs there. OK, put a little celebration in and a well done and a thank you to you for your wonderful, wonderful home learning that you're carrying on with. We absolutely love seeing all of the things that you're doing. So well done. Right. Stars of the week. Well done to all of these wonderful people who were given their certificates um, in assembly on Friday. And thank you to Mrs. Stevens, who drove around to all of your houses or put some of them in the post if you live a really long way away to hand those out to you. So fantastic job, all of you. Well done. We're really proud of you. OK, let's see what's been going on. Right. Let's find out about some of the wonderful things that you've been up to this week. So Willow class, let's have a look at you first. Fantastic photos of dancing, doing challenges for their projects and all kinds of other things as well. So have a look at these. Look, some hard work going on. <gasps> look at that, Yashvir. Really love that that you've made. Uh, that that still is from a video of Flares that I have watched and was very entertaining. It was all about uh, William Shakespeare. Oh, how to play clock solitaire. That looks really good. Beth, there's an amazing video of you doing the catch up dance, which we really loved. Thank you very much for joining in with that. I hope you enjoyed the teacher's version, all of you. Look at Freddie. He's uh, made a boat by the look of it, which um, floats. So well done. And another bit of dancing going on there. I think fantastic. So nice to see what the children have been doing who've been in school this week. There they are watching uh, Assembly on Tuesday, sitting on their own mats. Look, imagine that. They've got loads of space while all of the rest of you are at home, haven't they? Hope you enjoyed our growth mindset assemblies last week. And they also did some really lovely colouring to say happy birthday, 100th birthday for Captain Tom. There he is. And there was a compilation video made of those from all the different BPET schools. And that's on our Facebook page if you want to have a look. OK, so collecting house points and housework points at home. Little message for your parents that we are going to be counting those. Mrs. Break is in charge now, so it will work much more efficiently than when I was in charge. That's for sure. And uh, cut off for that for parents to hand in those points is going to be Thursday evening. Don't worry, you can hand them in any time if we don't have them by Thursday evening ready for the count up for assembly and the newsletter, then we will just carry them over to the following week. So they'll always be added. You will never be forgotten. Right. Sports corner. Mr. Bavington, the weather hasn't been great. He's absolutely right. But uh, we've done some amazing things, including some wonderful dance with Jane Douglas. I hope you've been enjoying those videos. It's been nice to be able to share them. There's Hazel doing a hit workout look and some cricket skills happening in the garden that I do believe Stanley and Freddie got star of the week for. Very well deserved, boys. Good job. On top of all of your fundraising as well that we'll talk about in a minute. Maple class. This week, Maple have really risen to the challenge and produced some amazing home learning. They've started a story called The Jewel Words of Anders Arnfield. I haven't read that book, actually. It's all about a boy who has amazing, adventurous dreams that somehow become connected to the real world. Hey, Maple, I know that you are in for a treat on your lesson that's been uploaded for today. I was speaking to Mrs. Nash about that. I hope you really enjoy it. Let me know. OK, and here we are. Look, Leone has summarised chapter two. In chapter two, Anders dreams many things that feel real. His dreams, he dreams that he is in a quiet forest when suddenly a creature with grey brown fur lands on him and accidentally knocks him to the ground and causes a bump on his head and a small scratch. Surprisingly, when Anders wakes up, he realises the scratch is real and he also has a throbbing pain at the back of his head. Well done, Leone. That summary definitely did grab my attention. Well done, you. Fantastic work. Oak class. Oak have had another productive week. We've been looking at 2D and 3D shapes around the home, writing about what plants need to grow, releasing butterflies, enjoying our new Zoom chats, and of course, lots of dancing. Here are a few of the amazing pictures that made the Oak team smile. Look at those. Wonderful. Who's hiding underneath my head? We better scroll up a bit. 
Ah, oh, it's Amelia. There we go. <laughs> Did you see this little poem? I thought this was really cute. Actually, uh, my auntie sent this to me and I wanted to share it with you. This is Cat in the Hat. If you read the story that this comes from, they've changed it a little bit. Look, I will teach you in a room. I will teach you now on Zoom. And hey, that's what we've been doing, isn't it, this week? I will teach you in a house. I will teach you with my mouse. I will teach you here or there. I will teach because I care. I really liked that. And I like Cat in the Hat. I bet you do too. OK, Redwood class. This week we've been learning about mini beasts. The children finished the week by writing some sentences about their favourite one. Take a look at some of the amazing work sent in. Do you know what, Redwood class? We are so proud of you. You have got three terms at school and you've only done two of them. You're just starting on term three. And look at this amazing writing. When you started school in September, some of you could write your name and maybe a few words. Some of you couldn't even write your name, which is always fine when you start school, isn't it? But look at all this wonderful writing that you've been able to do now. And the way that I test uh, the writing in reception and how what a good job they're doing is whether I can read it without somebody telling me what it says. And I tell you what, I can read every single one of those without anybody telling me. So great job, all of you. Well done. Really lovely to see. Right, Sycamore, year one. Sycamore have had a great week, but their highlight certainly seems to have been their Zoom calls. I think so, too. They've all had the opportunity to share with the class what they've enjoyed most about their home learning experience so far. We've enjoyed listening to their stories and adventures, but most of all, seeing their faces again. I know that's been really lovely, hasn't it? And I know they've children have enjoyed looking at each other, too, haven't you? Sycamore have also enjoyed our new literacy story, Mrs. Mole, I'm Home. They've been trying really hard with their handwriting this week. That's really good because that's a bit harder to keep up with when you're at home, isn't it? And using some amazing adjectives. And there were some um, stars of the week given out for that, I do believe, weren't there? Look at all these wonderful things going on. Well done, all of you. Birch class. Mrs Elstob and I have really enjoyed being able to speak to the children this week and we know how much they've enjoyed speaking with each other on Zoom. It is our hope they can now independently arrange calls with each other, particularly the older children. I think you could do that, couldn't you? As I know everyone is missing each other very much. And look at Jack's amazing colouring. That is absolutely brilliant. Look at that. And there's an idea worth sharing. So let me scroll back up. He and his family video call his sister on FaceTime and have a family colouring session. They chat and listen to music as they colour. What a lovely idea. That's a really nice way to be able to share an activity with someone that's not in the same house as you, isn't it? I love that. Right, Dania, come on, Dania, you have been on fire this week, haven't you? Even more so than usual. Dania, I could have written a whole newsletter about you, but I didn't have any space. So we did squeeze in for you your Green Blue Peter Award, but I've also heard that you've been fasting this week, which I am absolutely in awe of. I know Zach's been doing that as well. Well, well done, Zach, in your family. I know there are people in other families doing that too. And we saw some super duper duper videos and pictures of all kinds of different things that you've been doing. There was a hilarious topic takeover week video where you're all dressed up as news readers. We've seen you helping the little ones with their learning at home and doing all kinds of things for yourself. So a big well done, Dania. Very uh, well deserved. And I mentioned this, didn't I? Stanley and Freddie, look, they did the 2.6 challenge. You might have heard about this. They had to cancel the London Marathon, which would have been last weekend. And the London Marathon is 22 26.2 miles long and it's had to be postponed which means that a lot of the people who run the marathon would normally raise money for charity and they haven't been able to do that so some people have done a 2.6 challenge and so Freddie and Stanley have done that and so they washed two cars and then ran six laps of the road they live in I couldn't fit all of the photos in but there are some great photos of them running and washing the cars so well done boys and there's a link there and a QR code because we're very high tech and whizzy aren't we to their Just Giving page. So if anyone in your house thinks that they might like to make a little donation, that's the way that they could do it. So I put some information in about live link ups to say, fantastic, we're all enjoying it. We're going to keep it going because we think it's wonderful. Uh, and just to let you know that I have put whichever staff member is running your call in charge of that call. And what is brilliant about Zoom meetings and much easier than when we're at school is that we can put you on mute. 
it. And don't be uh, offended if that happens, because sometimes if there's people banging around in the background or talking, or if you've already had your turn and it needs to be somebody else's turn, then uh, your teacher is going to be driving that meeting and they might mute you just for a little while. Because remember, we've got two eyes and one mouth, so and two ears and one mouth, so we have to do twice as much listening as talking. So it's just to help with that. All right. Yeah, I've got two eyes as well. That's not so relevant here, is it? Ah, projects. So Mrs. Bailey and Mrs. Stevens and Mrs. Brake have a look at the project email address and they really love seeing all of the things that you've been doing. And I tell you what, there are so many photographs and videos that we could share. And this is just a very small selection of all of the wonderful things that they've seen this week. And the nice thing about this look is it's children from every year group because you can all get involved in these. Look at Cyril's smiley face. I miss that face, Cyril. Miss all of your faces, really. Let me see, where's my scroller gone? Here we go. Really nice, look at this. Brothers and sisters and brothers and brothers and sisters and sisters together, looking happy and smiley and not fighting with each other. I hope that's going on lots in your house. OK, and then the PTA have got a competition that you might be interested in. If you would like to have a go at designing what you might like Maidenhead Great Park to look like if there ever was one, then you could do a design for that and send it in to them. And you never know, there might be a prize coming your way that I've heard talk of. So there's some ideas there about what might be included in the park. You could include some ideas of your own as well and then send those in either to the PTA if your parents have got their details or you can send them in to us at school and we'll pass them on. And if you're interested in that, all of the details are in the newsletter there, which all of your parents have got at home as well. So another amazing week of home learning, at least one or two more to go. So I better stop talking so that you can go and get on with it. Have a good day. Work hard. Good morning, Greg, and I hope you had a great weekend. You might be wondering why I'm in today's assembly and why I'm holding up a competition show. The reason why is because Berkshire School Game have set up a virtual school games. What does this mean? This means it will give you your opportunity to represent the school in sports and competitions, even though we're not in school. So, what I need you to do is make sure you check your emails or your parents' emails so that you're ready for the details. And when I ask, you need to send me certain things in. For example, the first event is going to be Key to Nature 2 um, Sports Hall Pentathlon. So it's working on our athletic skills. So what I'm going to need from you guys is when I send out the events, you will have to send me in your scores and then I can submit them to the school games and see how well we can do. Good luck and I'll see you soon.